Hello everybody, this is Barry from H&W Machine Repair, again doing another video for you. Today we are going to be adjusting the Gibbs in a Bridgeport Series 1. There are three Gibbs to be adjusting. You will need a screwdriver, a long one is best, and you may need Allen wrenches depending on your configuration. Let's start with the easy one because you need no tools is the x-axis gib. The x-axis gib is located on the left side of the front directly underneath the front way and you'll see a slot head screw here. Now when you're adjusting this you put your screw head in and then you will turn your handle. You turn one direction you can turn your screw in further and as you're going and then you just adjust it. Now you can over tighten these and get so tight you can't move it. But your ideal is to get it adjusted to where it moves smoothly the whole distance and then what you will do is you will lock your y-axis lock, unlock your x-axis lock which this one is unlocked and you will attempt to rock it. If you have no rock then you're in good shape. Now we will go to the y-axis so you can unlock this kind of lock that one so you're working on that. The y-axis gib screw is underneath the front cover on the left side. So you're going to remove the front cover, which is being held on by three, should be flat head screws. Okay. Just slide your cover off. And this is a good time, you see how nasty these way wipers are? This will be your best time to replace, the, put a new set of way wipers in. Um, the whole set's $10, so it's not exactly a large investment. But while you're doing this, you might as well put in new wipers. Way part number 1601. Okay, now, your gib will be in here. You see, this one's way in there. This, this gib actually is probably bottomed out. And I will be building a shim for it, most likely. You can see how much turn, I can still turn this thing in there. As I turn it, crank your table. Make sure you're not getting too tight. Okay. And now, we'll do the same test. Except you're gonna lock the X, unlock the Y, and try to rock your table. This one still has a little rock in it, so there will be some more adjustment to be done to it. I mean, this one's way out of adjustment, but you also got to take into account your travel. There, now we're much better. No, no rock. So let's crank this thing out of our way a little bit. I will tell you, I will be shimming this gib because it's sticking out the back side. Now, the Z-axis elevating gib is again on the left side, underneath this cover. And this is where you probably will need Allen wrenches. Take the cover off. Same thing, you see how hard and crusty and nasty that is? So it's a good time to change it. You might get in here with a magnet or something. A lot of times you'll see, I'm gonna get a flashlight on this. You'll see a lot of chips and debris inside on top of the screw. Get in there and get it cleaned out. So you can get to your screw head. But you can see as those weight wipers broke down, it really didn't do much to stop the chips from getting down inside of there. So this is the exact same situation as the others. You put your screw um, driver in the slotted head and then instead of using the handle you would use your elevating screw, your elevating um, wrench and you'd just be cranking this up and down as you do it. I'm not going to do this one because this has already been adjusted and I know it's in good shape. But when you're checking the rock on this, you have your table completely locked up. 
and you're trying to rock your, your knee back and forth. And if you see any knee, you want to adjust a little more. Again, we already did this one, so I know that it was done shortly before the machine got sent over here for repair. So, but that is it. Once you're done, put everything back together and you are back in good shape. You're good to go. So I hope that was helpful. If, as always, if you have any questions, give us a call at 800-285-5271. Until later, 